Look at what we're going to have for dinner. Isn't this amazing? Okay, so Lori, the yes. great chef, tell us about it. What we've selected for our main course in this vegan meal is a base of a mixture of sprouted rice and quinoa with wild rice. So it's black, dark brown, and white in the grain mixture. And it's piled high with pinto beans that have had lots of water to cook them slow cooking for five hours. So they're very tender. The pinto bean is very high in beta carotenes. It's medicinal for blood type O and A, so 85% of the world population. It's a delightful soft bean. It gives lots of great protein and calcium and folic acid. And your grains are giving us lots of fiber that you know it regulates and cleans the system as we absorb the, uh, the proteins that are in the mixture. Because your beans will always be low in uh, two essential amino acids that the grains are highest in. And the grains are always low in two amino acids that the beans are highest in. So the combination of beans and grains is your basic vegetarian meal around the world. And in a vegan uh, menu plan, it's so important to use the whole grains. And the more whole grains you have, as in a mixture, the um, it may not necessarily be strengthening to the body, but this one just with the different kinds of rice with the quinoa is very potent. Quinoa is the grain highest in protein, 14 grams of protein per half cup. Hmm. So with the combination, your, your beans are likewise about 15 grams of protein in a full cup. There's about 67% carbohydrate in this dish, but we put in lots of olive oil so that the fat is 40% and the carbohydrates are 40% to balance the meal so you don't get diabetes. And of course, the fiber will also regulate the blood sugar as well as the olive oil. So now, can you tell me the recipe? It's simply beans and rice. There's no flavoring? Like oh, there's, there's onion and garlic in the beans and, of course, the Himalayan salt. And we've topped it up. Uh, the rice was cooked with uh, about two teaspoons. To, uh, it was two cups of the grain with four cups of fluid and two teaspoons of salt to really get flavor in those grains so that with the salt, your saliva starts working and you start to digest the carbohydrate in your mouth. We have to chew this very well because the chewing is where it gets digested. Nowhere else in the digestive tract except your mouth. So you want to chew this until it's like gruel and soup, and then you swallow. And that's, it won't get any smaller than what you chew it. And so this on top is cilantro? Cilantro. And we've sprinkled on the, I love the clubhouse grill peppers, the mixed mm. peppers have a lovely aroma. So it gives that added, you know, perk to the mild tasting beans and rice. And of course, the cilantro. It gives that touch that not only is colorful, but it's the green that helps you to ionize all of the nutrients to absorb them. Well, thank you very much, Lori. You're welcome, Nancy. We're so lucky we get to be to dinner.